Hello friends, uh, here today we are going to solve a uh, uh, quick quantum mechanics and application paper C11. This is of uh, 2021 physics honors uh, for the BA fifth sem student, Dibruga uh, University. So this is part one. So here uh, we are going to solve from question number one to question number three. Okay. So MCQs of question number one already I have given in the form of sorts in my channel. If you check there, then you will get better. Okay. Let me solve it again. So um, so now you see before we start, please subscribe the channel if you are new to my channel. Also share with your friends and hit the like button. And uh, also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded right so let's start so here you can see so the correct answer for the following so here a web function psi which is a function of position and time okay it admissible if uh, this is the first option is correct here single valid and finite right and the next question is here stationary states are those for who is the probability density rho is time independent that is the correct option and zero energy of a simple harmonic oscillator is half a squared omega right and the electron in a hydrogen atom this question the electron in a hydrogen atom uh, moves in a potential which is regarded as spherically symmetric right the second option is correct and the possible values of z component that's a uh, of spin angular momentum that's going to be plus minus 8 cut by 2 option 2 that's correct okay now let's move on to question number 2 here uh, we need to prove this relation okay we need to prove this relation where uh, the probability of current density represented by z vector and and this rho represents the probability density so here we know the schrodinger time dependent equation is this uh, equation number one and where psi is the wave function and if you multiply both sides by psi star which is the conjugate of complex conjugate of psi so you're gonna get this equation number two so what we have done we have multiplied uh, equation number one both side of equation number one by psi star so here we have got psi star psi star psi star right so where psi star is a complex conjugate of psi now taking the complex conjugate of one so if you take the complex conjugate of equation number one that means if you make the psi psi star if you make this psi, psi star then you then what you will get the complex conjugate of this equation number one right then here just multiply psi on both sides okay multiplying both side by psi then uh, here we have got psi this is also psi here also psi right this is equation number four now subtract four from two this is subtract uh, equation number four from two that means equation number two minus four so if you do so then uh, uh, this this right hand side will be subtracted this right hand side will be subtracted from the right hand side of equation number two this is the right hand side of equation number two and then you can take i is cut common from both side from both the terms right on the right hand side what you will get uh, you can take minus a squared by twice m common so we have got this uh, on the right hand side here del dot is uh, this can be this right hand side can be represented as uh, del dot of this right now what we have done here and here you see this a cut cancel this a cut square to give a cut only right and here we have got i this i right imaginary number here uh, here you can see uh, if you bring this uh, right hand side to the left hand side then you're gonna get this result right so this psi star and psi this represents uh, now you can see what we have done how we have got psi star and psi here 
so you can see it is derivative of product of two functions and which can be done this way so if you apply the u product will u by v derivative of u into v so u derivative of v plus v derivative of u then then from this step you will get this back right so hope you have understood this uh, very simple things and this psi star and psi this psi psi star represents the uh, you know uh, probability density rho we can write rho and this represents the uh, probability current density del dot z vector and this is the equation of continuity so i have mentioned here what does rho mean what does z mean okay so this is uh, z represents probability current density so we have solved question number two so now let's move on to question number three so here you can see this is the oh sorry uh, we have one more part of question number two that is uh, there uh, there were two questions uh, you have to solve either this one or this one right or this one so here you see this is a wave function given here this is a given function uh, here e to the power this into e to the power this it can be written as e to the power minus alpha x square by 2 plus i k x right so now we know the normalization constant uh, infinity to minus infinity to plus infinity uh, that psi star psi dx is equal to 1 this is the normalization constant so psi star if this is the psi and what will be the psi star uh, that's uh, that's going to be the complex conjugate of this so psi star will be so here we're going to start and we're going to get a star here then this plus will be minus when you take complex conjugate right so hope you have understood this so that's what we have done so we have put the value of psi star here and we have put the value of psi and which is equal to dx uh, well, which is dx is equal to one here so now you see uh, here we have got a star and a which can be written outside the integral as constant here a star and a that's going to be mod of a square so and product of these two is this right uh, here this one this one will be cancelled when you multiply this e to the power this one and e to the power this one right uh, then powers will be added then these two will be cancelled right and uh, sum of this one and this one what you will get uh, this minus 2 alpha a square x square by 2 and here 2 2 cancels and that implies and here you see integration e to the power minus alpha x square this is given in the question this value is given in the question so i have written given this value of this integration is uh, root over pi by alpha this is alpha not infinity okay don't be confused and uh, so here we have put this value of integration uh, this one so this implies more of a square this alpha by root pi and uh, so more of a will be alpha by root pi whole to the power half and this is the uh, required normalization constant and this is the value of normalization constant so hope you have understood now let's move on to the next question so here is the question number three we need to show that uh, uh, position and linear momentum operators do not commute uh, that means uh, if you find if you take the position brackets high uh, here uh, this is x this x cap represents uh, position uh, oh, okay op operator and uh, this uh, px represents momentum operator so as i have mentioned here right uh, the consider the operation of uh, this uh, on the function psi x which can be written this way these are the corresponding operators of position and uh, momentum represented by x cap and px cap and uh, if you expand this position bracket then you should you should get this right and when you operate on this uh, what you will get 
so we know that position uh, uh, sorry momentum operator is given by a squared by i del by del x and uh, we have used that here actually what uh, we have done here uh, we have operated this uh, function of by this one separately here first and then by this one uh, operates on psi x so that is shown here okay so what you will get uh, that is what we have shown here so i think there is a printing mistake so there should be a x i think okay when uh, you operate this psi by x cap position vector and the momentum uh, position operator and the momentum operator p cap then there should be a x and then you should put the momentum operator del psi by del x right so just write this one okay so here x is missed here so now so then second term when this p cap and x cap operates on psi then what you will get then you're gonna get this result right so this p x cap is the momentum operator a squared by i del by del x uh, which operates on this uh, x on psi this x cap on psi gives x psi right and uh, if you apply the product rule here considering x as a first function psi as a second function then if you define it uh, with respect to x as there is del uh, by del x so if you define sheet this so then what you will get uh, here you can see let me show this one what we have done here so a is cut by uh, i a is cut by i so here we have got uh, psi del x del del x of x that means uh, we have defined it uh, using this one as u this one as v then plus then x del psi by del x that is what we have done so you know derivative of x with respect to x that's going to be one so here we have got psi only and this is the next term so hope you have understood this and we have used these two results this one and this one in equation number one right so this is the equation number one in, uh, th this is what implies right equation number one and from here what we can do this h squared by i is taken common here you can see and here you see these two terms cancel and we have got minus psi only which gives this and if you multiply both the numerator and denominator by i then this i this i will be minus one and that's why uh, that's why here you see uh, this minus cancels and we have got i with the numerator right so hope you have understood this what we have done we have multiplied h uh, sorry multiplied the numerator and denominator by i and doing so we have got this so we uh, hope it is clear to you and this is equal to what i is cut psi so we have got that uh, this is equal to i is cut psi so which is not equal to zero that's why position and linear momentum operator do not commute okay if they commute then it should be zero right this should be zero so that is what it proves that uh, they do not commute right so hope you have understood this